Are you struggling with how to make a portfolio website to attract new clients? There are so many questions to answer and choices to make. While I can't help you with all of them, today I'll show you how to create a portfolio website without wasting time. Let's get started. First things first, while we can create a portfolio website using a content management system like WordPress, I would recommend going with a good website builder instead. This approach is much faster and you can leave all the updating and compatibility issues in someone else's hands. There are a ton of providers out there claiming to be the best, but I would personally recommend two website builders for 99.9% .9 of portfolios. My main recommendation is Wix. You have probably at least heard of how extensive this builder is. However, it can be a bit more expensive and take more time to get the hang of. For this reason, I'm also leaving an alternative, Hostinger Website Builder. Hostinger offers a light and beginner-friendly tool perfect for small portfolios. Oh, and did I mention that Hostinger is one of the cheapest providers on the market? You can find my discount links for both the Wix website builder and Hostinger in the description down below. While Wix does allow you to start building your portfolio for free, I don't consider free builders or plans to be a viable option for a professional looking portfolio. All free options have ads all over your design and nothing makes a portfolio less trustworthy than the inclusion of random ads. The other reason is that free plans not only come with resource restrictions, but slow loading times as well. So I'll create an account with Wix and start building my portfolio. One thing that a lot of beginners struggle with when learning how to make a portfolio website, should you use pre-made templates or build a unique looking design yourself? If you don't have a particular design in mind, I recommend going with templates and modifying them a bit. Now, Wix has over 800 templates, so you know you'll find something even if you need to spend a bit more time sifting through the massive library. So I'll choose a template and start the editing process. Starting out, it's good to decide on some principles, like what type of site you will need to build, a portfolio with multiple pages or a one pager. Both options have their benefits, with a one-pager being easier to manage and a multi-page portfolio being better for SEO optimization. I'll go with a one-pager for this video. I think it's the more popular design approach nowadays. Right, my portfolio website needs three main parts. The introduction or hero section, the portfolio itself, and the about area with contacts. Let's tackle these parts one by one, starting with hero section. Every good portfolio website needs a stylish hero section. Now, a hero section or hero header is just a fancy name for seeing the first thing that users see when visiting your page. It can be a slider with your most recent work, a promotional video that you've made, or a simple yet stylish image with text on it. I am sure you've seen countless examples of it, and both Wix and Hostinger allow you to create any hero section you would like. For my example, let's use a slider. I'll go to Elements, then Interact, and select one of the sliders at the very top. Drag it onto my design. Now I'll need to click here to change the images in these slides. I'll change the text and make sure that the button leads to where I want or in this case, to jump straight to my latest project. Now the actual meat and potatoes of your whole website, the portfolio part. We want to make sure that your work stands out and is the main attraction which means making the portfolio site simple yet modern. I can build my portfolio using individual elements, dragging buttons, text and images into places. However, this method takes quite some time and I need to know exactly what I want to build. For that, Wix has its own extra app named Wix Portfolios. Once I activate it, Wix populates my site with demo portfolio content. So first, I'll go and change the title and the text that is displayed. 
for the overall portfolio layout, I can click here and select from a healthy number of options including slider, grid, masonry and more. I can also customize the layout even further if I go into the extra settings here. Okay, let's choose a layout and go to animations to select one of these options. This is all I want to do for the design part. Next on, how to make an online portfolio, the content. To do so, I'll open the portfolio app. Here I can add, remove or modify all of my projects. In this case, I want to modify the already available ones. I'll select this one and change the name as well as add my own images down below. That's all cool, but there is a more useful feature. I can add as many info blocks as I want, like location, project date, or add my own custom field. This is really useful if you have a few different kinds of projects you want to showcase, allowing you to manage what info is displayed with each project. For the last part of my portfolio website tutorial, I need to add information about myself and my contacts. So I'll click on add sections below my portfolio and select one of the contact sections. This one should be fine, but I need a bit more here. I'll add a new empty section underneath it, then insert a text block to have some personal thoughts and I'll add a photo of myself to make this portfolio feel more professional. To finish off your personal portfolio website, make sure you edit your footer, the last bottom element of your design. In my case, I can click here to edit the footer and add my social info as well as copyright information. Make sure not to overstuff it. Once again, the best portfolios are minimal yet stylish. Secondly, while most of elements on Wix work well on mobile without any editing, I still recommend checking how your design looks on mobile. I'll click here, select a few options on how I want my mobile site to react, like whether there's a to the top button and then I can fix or customize any element. I can set different rules for elements based on the screen size. This used to be a challenging thing to do even for more advanced users, but with Wix, even a beginner can optimize their portfolio for mobile. All that's left to do is publish your new portfolios. To do so, upgrade to Wix Premium discount link below, and connect a custom domain name that Wix gives you for free for the first year. Share your portfolio with friends and you'll have clients in no time. If this Wix tutorial for portfolios helped you out, help us out by liking this video and of course subscribing to the Cyber News YouTube channel. Law of equal exchange and all that. Okay, so by now you should know most of what you need. All that's left now is to finish adding all of your content. While Wix isn't the easiest website builder to use, it's definitely the most versatile option for any portfolio. And that's gonna be it here for today's how to create a portfolio website tutorial. If you have any questions and maybe they're still unanswered or want a full Wix website tutorial, leave a comment down below. You can find even more great videos like this one if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. For everyone else, I'll see you all next time.